So I've been doing this eBay strategy every weekend for the past couple of months, and it is no coincidence that the last two months have been the best two months in my history of 12 years of selling on eBay. And I think I've finally found something that really has worked and not only has exploded my sales on the weekend, but actually really propels my Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday sales. And I wanna talk about in this video as I think it's pretty straightforward, and I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. Hey there, folks. Welcome back. If you've been here before, if you haven't been and you're a stranger in these parts, consider yourself a stranger no more as we are now amigos. I've been an online reseller for about 12 to 13 years. I flip stuff that I find out in the wilds of garage sales and thrift stores and flea markets and trash compactors and my pantalones. And now that that's out of the way, let's get down to the good stuff of why we're all here. Now, for the past eight weekends where I've been trying this eBay experiment, my lowest sales for a weekend were over $1,500. I used to hit $1,500 every so often. To hit 1000 over a weekend was kind of average, but my bump has gone over $1,500, $1,700, dollars and this now this latest one over $2,000. And I have to think that it has to be doing with this new strategy. I wanna highlight a few sales that I had this past week that just made me go, hmm. So let's start the video with some exciting stuff, with some exciting sales. Some of the larger sales that we had this past week, the Shark Matrix Plus. I actually got this in an auction lot. So I think I was about $10 total into this thing. Uh, it sold for full full asking price. I do best offer on all of my listings. I don't know, do you guys do best offers on everything or do you kind of Ronco Food Dehydrator set it and forget it? You just and forget it and you're not taking any offers. They had about $10 in. So fantastic sale here. We're moving on to another $200 sale. This thing, I don't know what it is. And that's the fun thing with eBay. I'd say there's a decent percentage of stuff that I sell that I actually have no idea what it is. Don't know what it does. Don't care either because all I care about is that it's gonna make me money. This was brand new. Uh, I got this in auction lot. I think I'm about $10 in for this particular item. And it sold for two, full again, full asking price, $200 plus $10 shipping. And uh, I don't know, it looks like it's some sort of fountain of youth in a box. So if you use these things and you're paying for it, I hope it works well. If you're spending 200 bucks, I hope it adds a few days of beauty to your life. One of my favorite sales of the week. I found this figure, I think I paid a dollar actually. Maybe it was two at a garage sale. And I knew from the, it, it does actually for being so old, it's from 1986. The face, I knew it was Sylvester Stallone. It actually does, uh, the face looks kind of good. Maybe you disagree, but I also recognize the, the eagle on his chest. And I'm like, is this a over the top? I don't know if you saw that movie, the arm wrestling movie, but it's a classic and you got to go back and watch it. And I, was, I had no idea they actually made action figures of of that so that was really cool and this didn't work this this has movable parts and it looked like it kind of worked but it kind of didn't but uh i i saw that they were selling for 60 dollars and up i priced mine a little lower since i didn't know much about it and i assumed it was broken so somebody still bought it and they bought it like within 60 minutes of me uh, posting it and they paid full price almost 50 bucks with shipping and it was pretty scuffed up pretty beat up but somebody still bought it right away i probably could have got another 10 to 15 bucks out of it okay, let's get into what this video is actually about i'll stop wasting your time so what i do on the weekends what i've been doing the past eight weeks or so is i've been diving into the strategy as i see that it really works and i'm showing you on the screen right now where you can see that this is from a Monday morning, this, this past Monday morning, where it says send offer to buyers of 54. Uh, above that, you can see I sold 29 things over the weekend. I think it was actually 30 by the time I went to post it. Here's that, uh, 30 items for $2,100, 2115 bucks. So that's what I sold over the weekend. But more importantly, yes, it's a fantastic week and of sales. However, what I really uh, think that is is propelling my account to grow my eBay sales to to massively explode. Now that it's Monday morning, I can send offers to 54 buyers. Now, mind you, it might not seem like such a big number, especially for those resellers, because I've seen some resellers out there that have thousands of listings. I do not. At any given time, I have about 150 to 250 listings. I have, a, I fortunately have a really high sell-through rate. You can see that I have 184 active listings at the moment, or at the moment that I did uh, the screenshot anyway, and 463 orders. So my sell-through rate is obviously 
uh, exponentially higher. I sell pretty much 99% plus of everything that I happen to list. I have very good average. So out of the 184, I have 54 of those 184 current listings that people are interested in that I can send offers to. So what I'm finding that works for me is on Friday evening, I'm going through and starting a sale. I do two separate sales. So every Friday night, I go into discounts here and I create a sale. I actually do two discounted sales. I do a sale event and the first one that I do is I choose 10% and then I filter and you have to have a, a eBay store in order to do this but uh, select items here and what I do for the 10% is I, I filter it so anything that's been on the site for three to seven days here I filter and then I scroll down and just check I don't really care 10% off all of this stuff I confirm that save and review, and I go through this and I end up doing the same thing again. I don't spend too much time on these details. I just choose to start now and I end it Sunday night and I choose about 9 p.m. Pacific time. Nothing fancy here, up to 10% off of everything. And I launch that and I actually do that twice. And then I, and then I go back through and do another discount and do 20%. And I do this for anything that has been sitting for more than 10 days. So I do 10 to 500. And most of the stuff will pop up here. Anything that hasn't been listed in the past couple of days ends up going on sale on my account. So 20% off everything. I don't discriminate here. Um, start now, same thing. I end Sunday night and I choose 9 p.m. Whatever you want to do details wise works for you. Now I do 20% off of everything for that one. And I set those sales. So now for the weekend, everything is going to be on sale that fits those criteria, which is actually a high percentage of my store. So obviously people are going to shop just because I already have a sale running. I actually try to price my items to move faster. I don't try to maximize and get and squeeze every dime. I like to move stuff and get money back in my pocket to reinvest. So this 10 and 20% that sales that I do, that's already based on really low prices. I try to match the lowest prices or just about the lowest prices that I find other resellers online doing. So me being 10% or 20% that lower than even some of those prices, I tend to get a decent amount of sales just through that. But even for those who don't end up buying, they end up following or liking uh, particular items. And then Monday morning, that's how I end up with 54 people that are watching my particular item. And then on Monday, I send out offers to all those 54 people. And that ends up getting a lot of sales on the Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday where I end up with multiple hundred, 500, 600, 700 dollars even on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. And that's how my sales have been just going insane the past two months where it's not just weekend sales anymore. Now, even on Thursdays and Fridays, it's still, I was on a road trip out and I didn't get back my home until early August. So it's really only been till September 20th. So it's only been about seven or eight weekends and in that time, I'm almost at $30,000 worth of sales, which is a lot for nine weeks, at least for me. Um, and I do think it has a lot to do with this new strategy that I've been trying out. Then I found this cool vintage Frisbee. I had no idea that vintage Frisbees were actually worth money. This is called the Whammo Frisbee. I think this was like a really popular brand. Maybe they're like the only Frisbee brand back in the day or just the biggest company. Whammo Pluter. Pluto, I can't talk, the Pluto platter flying Frisbee. He sold for 65 bucks, I couldn't believe it. Uh, and it was severely scratched up and scuffed and it was obviously played with. It wasn't warped or anything. I did get a couple questions from people who knew what this was uh, in terms of the condition they're asking about condition details. So uh, somebody bought it full price and I think I paid $2 at a thrift store for this old Frisbee. Who knew these Delta bar hand showers that I actually found in a, they were highlighted in a video many months ago at one of my favorite thrift stores down here in Georgia. And I paid $30 each for these. There were two. Uh, I had originally listed them for 150 bucks as I saw that that was kind of the going rate six to eight months ago. Actually, I lowered the price down to what you see here, $100 plus 15 shipping. And I actually took a best offer of 75 each for these. So I didn't make as much money as I had hoped to, but I spent $60 on these things and I took 150 plus the shipping fee. You who do actually watch all the videos, I thank you, but you'll notice this Casio. You probably won't remember it, but I did a four part video 
video series where I drove from Georgia to Montana and back and I did thrift stores along the way and I found this particular item out in Montana at the tail end of the trip. And it's not a huge sale, but I always love getting back and, and selling stuff that I find out on the road. I think I paid a dollar or maybe two dollars for this particular item and it just sold. I don't have much left from that trip, maybe two or three items. Uh, so this is one of the last to go, but it sold the other day, 18 bucks plus shipping, and I only had a dollar or two into it. So I know this video is a little bit different. It's kind of a change of scenery, and we're going to get back to thrift stores in the next video, but I wanted to highlight this just because sales have been going so well, and I want to hear from you. Do you guys have like a any kind of strategy or a sales or a discount thing that you like to do that you do religiously that lead to more sales? Or I want to hear about what kind of ideas you have or what you think if... Uh, of my particular strategy if you think it sucks if you think it's a stupid idea let me know and tell me why i'm stupid i probably will agree with you but until next time where we go back out into the wild at thrift stores i appreciate you being here